Hello everyone and welcome back to ICT with Heather. Today we're going to be creating a paddle, a paddle game with Scratch. You need to go to scratch.mit.edu to find your Scratch. So what will we learn today? We will make the sprite bounce around the screen, move a paddle, make the sprite bounce off the paddle, create a game over, score some points and win the game. So let's make the sprite bounce around. You'll need to choose a backdrop. We've done this before. Choose a sprite that you want to bounce around the screen and you'll need to create this code for your sprite. You'll have some events code when the green flag is clicked. You'll have turn 15 degrees. You'll have control code and in the control code we'll have move 15 steps. And if on the edge, the edge bounce. So that means when the sprite touches the edge of the screen, it bounces back into the screen. Let's see how to do it. So we've opened Scratch, we're going to get rid of the cat. I'm going to choose a backdrop. I'm going to choose space. Now I need a sprite. I think as it's space, I'm going to have a star. So I'm typing star into the search box and I've picked a star. Now we need to write some code. We pick events code when green flag is clicked. So when we touch the flag, things will start to happen. Now I've put turn 15 degrees. That will make the, tar the turn star turn slightly. Now control code. I'm picking forever so that it continues to happen over and over again. If I go back to motion code. I pick move 10 steps and I'm going to change that to 15. Now I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to pick if on edge bounce. That means when the sprite touches the edge of the screen, it bounces back in. It won't disappear. Let's click the green flag and see what happens. There we go. It's bouncing around the screen from side to side. Now let's create a paddle and move it. You will need to add a sprite for your paddle. Move the sprite to the bottom of the screen and create this code for your paddle. We'll need events code again, control code, motion code, and a little bit of sensing code. Click on add sprite. I'm going to put paddle in. There's only one paddle to choose from. I'm going to move it to the bottom of the screen so that the X changes. There you go. Now I need code. I need events code when green flag is clicked. I need control code and I'm going to pick forever. Now I need motion code. I'm going to pick set X2. And I'm picking a sensing code and I'm going to choose mouse X. So that means that the paddle will move on the, the X axis when the green flag, flag is clicked, when the mouse moves. So as I move my mouse towards where the star's coming, it's moving along that bottom line. I think I'm going to need practice to catch this star. So now let's bounce off the paddle. We need to select a bouncing sprite and we need to add this code. It's got an events code. So when the green flag is clicked, something will happen. I've got three control codes. I've got a forever, I've got an if, and I've got a wait. I've got an operator code, which is pick random 170 to 190 to degrees. I've got sensing code, which says if touching the paddle, and I've got motion code, which is turn, and I've got the pick random with the operator code, and I've got move 15 steps. Let's see what happens. So I'm picking the star. I go to events. I pick when green flag is clicked. I go to control. I pick forever. 
and pick if and put it inside of the forever. Now I need sensing. I pick touching mouse pointer. I'm changing mouse pointer to paddle. Now I pick motion code. I pick turn 15 degrees. Now I'm picking an operator and I'm sliding the 15, uh, uh, sliding the operator in 15 and changing it to 170 to 190. Back to motion code. Move 10 steps and I'm changing that to 15. Back to control. And I pick wait one second, but I'm changing the one second to half a second. So I type in 0.5. Let's click the green flag and see what happens. There you go. It bounces off the paddle. Definitely needs some practice. Game over. Now let's stop the game if the sprite hits a red line. We need to add a line sprite and add the code below. We need events code, motion code, control code and sensing code. So we go to choose Sprite. I'll type in line into the search box or narrow down what to choose. There's the red line. I'm going to move the red line down to the bottom of my screen. There we go. Move the paddle up a bit. Move the star back up the top to give me a chance. Now pick the line and we're going to add some code. We add events when green flag is clicked. Now motion code. Put in go to, to x, y. I'm going to change the x to zero. I'm changing the y to minus 170. Now we go to control, we add forever and we add if. Now we need sensing. We pick the touching mouse pointer again, but we're changing it to star. We're going to put stop all in from the control code. So if the star touches the red line, the game stops. Now let's make our game score points. We need to add a variable called score and then we add this code. We're going to add it to some code we already have. We're going to add change score by one and we're also going to add, when green flag is, flag is clicked, set score to zero. So we go to variables, click make a variable, type score. Click OK. Now pick Set my variable, no, change my variable by one. And we're going to change my variable to score. Now we pick when green flag is clicked. Go back to the variable code and pick set my variable to zero. That will mean that the score is always zero at the beginning of the game. So we change score, uh, variable to score. Click the green flag. Hopefully every time your sprite touches your paddle, the score should change by one. Right, now let's win the game. We need to create a text sprite saying you won and add code to tell it when to appear. We will need events code, looks code, control code, operator code, and variable code. 
Right, let's see what to do. Click on choose Sprite and click on the paintbrush. Check you've got the right colour and check you've picked the text icon. Click on the screen where you want to type. Right, I want it in capitals. Oh. There we go. U one. Click on the rest of the screen and then you should be able to make your text bigger. Now move it to where you'd want it. That should be about right. Right, go to code. We need when green flag is clicked. Now we go to looks code. We're going to pick hide. Back to control. It says wait until. And we're going to put an operator in. I'm choosing the blank equals 50. I'm going to change the 50 to 5, but you can have whatever number you want in there. And in the blank spot, I'm going to put a variable and it's going to be score. Go back to looks code. Choose show. Back to control. Stop all. So when the green flag is clicked, you've got to hide the text, and then when the score equals five, the text sprite will appear and your game is finished. There we go. You won the game. So well done, you've created your own paddle game. Can you add more levels using code from last week? Looking forward to seeing you all back at school. Bye.